All right, welcome back to SK Hobbies AZ. And uh, in this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, my son's newest rig, and we got him the Element Enduro Trail Runner. And so this was used, so I'm gonna tell you guys what we got done to it. So uh, why don't you guys stay tuned? But all right, we're going to go ahead and uh, up here in the corner here, I'm going to cycle through some pictures and kind of show you guys what we purchased. I didn't really take any video of, uh, you know, per se of the vehicle beforehand, but these are some of the pictures that I have of what we purchased and stuff. So um, it had it had the uh, the 1080 ESC already installed. It was running the uh, the stock uh, Reedy motor. Um, and it had a lot of, uh, you know, it was, it was pretty dirty and uh, needed to be cleaned up. I went through all of the transmission and uh, uh, both front and rear axles uh, and then uh, took comp the part, the, the IFS system in the front of it and cleaned that all up and got that uh, put back together. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we got. This is it now. Uh, we did replace the tires and we put on some uh, Endura rims. We've got some Hyrax tires with single stage foam. Uh, you know, the shell, the body is in pretty dang good shape. It's not the original body that came on it. Um, the guy that I bought this from turned around and, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it there inside. It's pretty good. But he bought a clear body for it and uh, masked it off, painted it this blue, put all the, the the window stickers on it you know he's even got look at there's some scale builders guild stickers some uh, SOR stickers he's got some Toyota logos on it um, we added that sticker for my wife because that's she's the kicker so she's got we got our kicker sticker on it but uh, let's look under the hood here so we kept the 1080 ESC I did a little bit of loom work on the wires so we keep those nice and clean and uh, out of the way um, I did put in the uh, the Holmes Hobby Crawlmaster Sport 16T, so we put that in there. Other than that, it's it's running a uh, a Savix digital servo, which uh, I'll put the number up here. What that servo number is, I can't remember quite off the top of my head. Um, oh, here it is. You can see the 1230SG. So. But I mean, it's it's in pretty dang good shape. It runs really good. Uh, it looks like uh, the guy put some uh, skid plates on the A arms down here on the bottom on the IFS system. Um, it is running a lot of uh, brass, so it's got the brass knuckles right there. You can see right here. In the back, it's got brass wheel weights. And then if we spin it around here, it's got the rear axle cover right there in brass. So it's got it's got a lot of brass. It's even got a, a metal um, MagnaFlow exhaust pipe on it. Uh, shocks seem like they were in pretty good. They're you know they're they're the Gen 1 uh, element shocks. If you can see in there they're more like the silver color so uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna run pretty good so uh, why don't we go ahead and give her a test run and um, you guys can stay tuned and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and bash that bell I'm stitch SK hobbies AZ and I'm out